and play a very good Southern Illinois team tonight. It's uh, buy one, get one free in the spirit of Black Friday. We're throwing a deal of buy one, get one free. And so hopefully our fans will come out and support us and uh, play Saturday as well against Central Michigan, a team that's like in the top 70 in the RPI. So um, two good challenges tonight. Uh, last year at, at Southern Illinois, we played great. And um, so I expect them to come out and, and be pretty fired up tonight. Napier and Pierre were first team all conference kids that will come in with the edge and, and uh, chip on their shoulder, I'm sure, and, and probably be pretty good. What you think of the State Farm Center? Yeah, amazing. Yeah, we practiced in there on Friday and had some recruits this weekend. So uh, really fortunate to play in such a great arena. And just the color and the, the life that's in there now, uh, to me, is just such a difference for a contrast from last year. And uh, having our fans close to the game, we had about 2,000 fans there. And to me, it seemed louder with that number you know, compared to in the past. John's talking about how it's a program changer. How is it for you? Yeah, I think it can be. You know, obviously, it, recruits, uh, it leads to recruits <laughs> that change the program, that certainly. But even just the atmosphere and, you know, getting recruits to come. You know, it's a whole lot easier to tell a recruit, hey, we've got a $170 million renovated arena. We need to get you here. You know, and the recruits, will, they'll make a trip, you know, for something like that a little bit easier than in the past. That's how you're coming in with an edge tonight. And I mean, that's something you didn't have Sunday early. Just how do you, how do you make sure you got it? Yeah, yeah, I talked to our players yesterday, and, you know, and, and I always want their feedback. So I asked Kylie, how were your legs? Did your legs feel heavy? And no, I felt great, you know, and so, you know, what, what was the reasoning? And they, they really didn't have a great answer. You know, I think maybe if you watch Miami on film, they kind of have that wow factor, and then you watch Lehigh in film, and it just physically, they don't look quite the same. So I think maybe a little bit of human nature uh, just watching the two. Now, Lehigh made shots. When anybody, if you make shots, it, it, your level of play can be pretty high. So I, I'm... I really, I'm a little bit of a, at a loss of why we started the game not having that edge and that fire, but um, yeah, hopefully we'll have it tonight. And, and I told you know, in, in the non-conference, play 11 games, and not er every team doesn't have 11 great energy, high energy for 40 minutes. Everybody's going to have some games where, all right, we're a little sluggish or we're not quite as sharp. Find a way to, to still win and, and pull it out. You guys added a game on the 28th. Yeah, we added George Washington. Uh, originally, we had a game scheduled. Uh, with a team over Thanksgiving, and uh, they had our contract. We're moving forward, and they decided not to sign it in order to get more money from somebody else, uh, part of the business, I guess. And so we scrambled to try to find another game over Thanksgiving. Uh, couldn't find one, so then we added George Washington, who was you know top 25 last year, returned uh, four starters from that top 25 team, and a team that will probably be in the year in the top 40 in the RPI, so a really good team. They're coming here. They're coming here, and then we return and go there next year. We've got a recruit from D.C., so it would be good for us to continue to uh, recruit in that area and play in D.C. because there's so many good players. Coach, how are you comparing SIU to the other teams you've played so far this season? Yeah, they're a little bit different. I think uh, they have a great post and a great point guard. Uh, I think the one thing they're much better than last year is they have a number of different kids that can shoot the basketball. And last year, those two kids, if those two kids played great, they had a shot. Um, but if those two kids didn't, then you know they struggled. And our game at their place last year, those two didn't. Um, so I think now they have other pieces. Uh, I know number 10 is a really good player as, as well. And they, they have other good pieces, kids that can shoot it. And so I think this team is better than they were last year. They finished 17 and 13 last year. And I, I think they're going to do well in the Valley. Does the RPI kind of help you where you're at? Yeah, a little bit. You know, it's, it's still early. So I think the December RPI doesn't mean it's quite as much as January. But at the, at the same time, I'd certainly rather be 18th than last year. And it's interesting, the uh, strength of schedule, how that factors in. Last year, we played Kentucky, Oklahoma, and South Florida, three top 25 teams in Thanksgiving, and came back. And our strength of schedule this year is, is better than last year. And it, I would have thought last year playing those three teams, our strength of schedule would have been off the charts. But the teams that are near the 300 in the RPI, those teams just kill you in your strength of schedule. So this year, we've done a better job not having the 300 plus you know, RPI team, I think Murray State last year was that, and a couple others. And those teams just, even though, like, those top, play three top 25 teams that we don't have good strength of schedule left last year uh, at this time. So it doesn't, it doesn't always add up, but, you know, for right now for us, it is adding up, which is great. Do you think you're one of the top 20 teams in the country? I don't know yet. We'll find out more. You know, Miami is a top 25 team. We're up eight at their place, um, so we're in the ballpark. Um, you know, I think we... Uh, we're a little bit untested yet. We have a lot of kids that haven't done it on the court a whole lot. You know, have a freshman averaging 14 a game, and, and CC's been really consistent as a freshman, but she is a freshman. So, you know, how and Alex has been great as a freshman. Alex had eight points and six rebounds and six blocks the other day. You know, I think they're really talented, but it's not easy for a freshman to be consistent. So I think it's a little early to tell that. I think we're capable of being that. Anything All right. else for Matt?
Thank you. All right. Thank you, yep. man.